In this section, we are going to see an example of a KPI dashboard. KPI dashboard is something that is very useful in some companies because you can verify the performances of products that you are selling or developing. And here, basically, you see a general dashboard where you show a list of products with their KPIs values. So here, you see basically a summary and underneath you see a list of products with their relative KPIs and using this scroll bar we're going to see the next 10 KPIs based on a sorting level that is evaluated in the calculation worksheet here so sorted data is here as you can see and the order is determined by a special function we will see that in the next video so here you see how these products are displayed and they're sorted by KPI for example here you see if uh, the KPIs are more than a certain value they will be displayed if you scroll down of course you're going to see the lower values if you want to go back to the previous sorting criteria you just click here and you see basically another sorting criteria based on the products as you can see product one two three four if you want to see the sorting by KPI value you just click on this ready buttons so we're here using ready buttons and scroll bars but we are using these objects which are available in the developer ribbon here in this part form controls but we are not going to use any visual basic routine so this file is not saved as an macro enable worksheet or workbook but is saved as a normal Excel workbook or Excel file. Then there are some targets we are going to give for each product, a certain value for their KPIs and also a value for the target of the KPIs. So let's say that the target of this KPI one is to have to be 203.4. And for this product, we have 284. And we're going to display this the target so if i want to see the target i can click here and you see the target so we have created here a reference to a table in the calculation worksheet where if you click on this checkbox you see also the target because these values here so when i click over the checkbox or if i scroll with a scroll bar or if i click on the option here already buttons then i'm going to change values here in the calculation sheet okay we will see that in details in the next videos and this is a conditional formatting according to the value that they display here i see this graph first of all that is related to these values here and according to the conditional formatting it is below 10 percent i'm gonna show a red circle here it is more than 90%, which means it's good. I'm going to show here a green icon. So this is our legend. And here we saw KPI one, we show the first products having the highest value for this KPI. Okay. Here we have a scatter graph where we're going to display comparison between two KPIs here just you select the KPI and you should see this graphic is dynamically updated as you can see here you can see all or display 10 okay and here we have a distribution KPI distribution okay for, by product we can do this for example searching for product 2 or product which string contains two and here we are we can see this of course if we are sorting for KPI here we see this is basically decreasing but if you're going to sort by, by product you see a different distribution and here we can type any name if we have a name of products here of course this is just generic product num name 11 12 etc but if we have actual names, we can see also here different distributions. So these values are basically these values for each product are displayed here. 
So that's thing, very simple form. It's very useful to see the KPIs in the company to see how the progress is. This is a very basic worksheet created just hiding columns after the T column and adding rows after the row 41 or even less if you want and just you click on protect worksheet and select lock cells and you just allow to select the unlock cells so if I click on this I can see I cannot touch anything but it's the only one which is available is this one which is text box okay I will show you in the next videos how to create first of all a table with KPIs and products and then how to create the calculations sheet to get the data to be displayed on this graph.